Doing keyword research can be tough if you don't know where to look, but I'm going to show you some methods you can follow to uncover thousands of keywords for SEO. So when I want to find keyword ideas for SEO, there are a handful of places I like to look. The first place is Google. Now, if you have the Keywords Everywhere extension installed and turned on, you can unlock thousands of keywords. Now, you may already know that Google suggests some additional keywords in the dropdown that's associated with your search term. But if you scroll down, you can find additional keyword research widgets from Keywords Everywhere. As you can see, you can view some related keywords associated with your head term. We can see people are interested in email marketing templates, examples, tools, courses, etc. And we can also see some keywords that people also search for. This list of keywords broadens the scope of our main topic. So people are looking for jobs, companies, tips, and so on. And there are many of them, a total of 40, 40 keywords in this widget. And we can also see some long tail keywords. So these keywords are longer and more detailed than our main search term. And there are a total of 19. Now, if these keywords are not enough, you can also click on this button at the top that says find long tail keywords for your search term. Now, if you click on that, Keywords Everywhere will create a report that looks like this. There are a little over 900 keywords found for our search term email marketing. So you can see all of these keywords with the words email and marketing in them. So this list alone can give you hundreds and hundreds of keyword ideas for your SEO campaigns. Now, if this is not enough and you want to drill down even further, what you can do is also take a look at what keywords the top ranking pages are ranking for as well. Now, this is a great method if you are doing competitive research and you want to see what your competitors are ranking for. So you can plan a strategy to create content on your own website to potentially outrank them. So for our search term, email marketing, we can see that this page from brevo.com ranks for 167 keywords. This page from Constant Contact ranks for 125. And this page from HubSpot ranks for tons. It ranks for close to 500 keywords. Now, this is interesting. So I want to check those keywords out that HubSpot is ranking for. So I'm going to click on the number and Keywords Everywhere will show me all the keywords that this URL is ranking for. So taking a look at this report will give us some insights into what keywords this particular competitor is ranking for. And this will give us some ideas in terms of what content we may want to create on our website. So in just a few minutes, we found 467 keywords in this report, plus the 933 keywords from this report. And if you view the keyword reports for the other ranking pages, your list of keyword ideas will definitely expand uh, to the thousands. Now, when it comes to question related keywords, you can, of course, take a look at the people also ask section as well to see what types of questions people are asking in relation to your search term. Now, you can manually open these up to reveal the answer and also see some additional questions as well. But a more powerful way is to use the SEO Minion extension. So this is the SEO Minion widget right here. And I'm going to select PAA, which stands for People Also Ask. Now, this means SEO Minion will crawl two levels deep and the report will take about five seconds. I'm going to click on Go and click on View PAA Tree. So we can see there are two levels here in this tree. So this information is directly pulled from the People Also Ask section. As you can see, all of the questions are opened. So it's pulling all of these questions and it turned them into this tree format. So now we have these additional keywords and questions that we can add to our list as well. Now, aside from Google, I also like to take a look at alsoask.com. It's very similar to the People Also Ask feature. So all you do is type in your search term and Also Ask will show you this report right here in this tree format. So we can see a total of four nodes in the first level, and each node has additional questions that's related to it as well. 
So if you want to find keyword ideas to figure out what types of pages to add on your website, what you can potentially do is create a page for each one of these nodes and you can answer all of these questions on that page. So maybe you can create a page that talks about the four types of email marketing and answer all of these questions. You may also want to create a page defining what email marketing is and answering all of these questions as well. So this is a very helpful report. Another website I like to take a look at is answerthepublic.com. Now for my search term email marketing, Answer the Public found close to 700 results. You can view the results in these wheel formats. So this first wheel are all questions related around email marketing. So will, are, can, how, and so on. And we can also take a look at this second wheel that lists out the prepositions. So we can see without, with, and there's also comparisons as well. Now, aside from the wheel formats, we can also take a look at the list format. So this might be an easier way to analyze all of the questions. And we can also see the tables. Now, this is one of my favorite because it organizes it by are, can, how, Okay, so as you can see, in just a few minutes, we already have thousands upon thousands of keyword ideas for SEO. So you can take a look at Answer the Public, also Ask.com, and also on Google with the help of the Keywords Everywhere extension and also SEO Minion. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one.